This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Good evening, Bahamas. Welcome to Sports Sunday. I'm Jared Higgs. History was made yesterday as Rose Carey became the first woman to be elected as president of the B3As by defeating the incumbent Mike Sands by 44 votes to 40. When we caught up with Carey after her victory, she credited support from outside of New Providence for her success. We're so grateful for our family islands. Um, we have uh, with our special projects um, and with um, Aram. We have a lot planned for our, our family islands. We're going to divide them into regionals. We have the northern region, we have the southern region, um, and so we do have a whole lot planned. Former President Mike Sands was visibly disappointed with the loss, but says that life goes on. We were confident and we expected that we would win. Obviously, um, there's no much debate. The members spoke and they spoke clearly. And I wish the b 3 uh, and the Scary Hunt team well going into the future. Don, for many you uh, think you lost your numbers, uh, I, I listen to some of the family island people went without. Um, and that's fine. I mean, you know, uh, obviously they they told the, the, the delegates what they wanted to hear or what they needed to hear. Um, and they believed in what was told to them, what was promised to them. And, um, you know, that's that's the way the politics go. And so I have to congratulate them. Now coach Rupert Gardner believes yesterday marked the beginning of a new day in track and field. You know, the last administration, it, it was a good administration, but the betrays now need to move in a different direction. And I think with this administration, you'll see much improvement for track and field throughout the Bahamas. For coach Kurt Hollingsworth, who was a part of the Mike Sands ticket, it was clear that the movers and shakers in track and field wanted a change. Well, it's the people's will, you know, they decided that they wanted to go with a different slate and they certainly did that and, you know, all the best to them. What do you think Mike downfall was? I don't know if there was a downfall. I believe that Mike did everything that he thought was possible, that he needed to in order to secure the win. The New Providence Women's Basketball Association kicked off their 2015 season last night with the Bomber G operators beating up on the career building cheetahs by a score of 64 to 34. Head coach of the Bomber G operators, Donnie Culmer, says despite the big win, his team still has some work to do off the court. We didn't. We came in yet, and I didn't know what to expect. We had a few practices, you know, and we told the girls just go out there, play hard, and just run a, a soft motion. So we got to go back, practice, put in our sets. But all in all, it's a good game. On the losing end for the Cheetahs, Anastasia Moultrie says her squad still needs time to develop chemistry. We're working with basically a new team, and so um, we, we just came a little slow. We got a little more practice to go. Um, some of our players went out here tonight, so we'll, we'll get it from next game. And from the Thanksgiving Tabernacle basketball tournament over in Grand Bahama, it was the Oak Ridge team beating out the St. George's High School by a score of 67 to 54 to take home the title. Coach Norris Bain, he's one of the tournament organizers, says he was pleased with the entire thing. This was the 79-year-old thanks, Tabernacle Thanksgiving tournament, and the U.S. teams came in and very competitive. Um, the top four teams in Grand Bahama held their own, did really, really well against them. I think Sunland lost like two or three one-point games. When you look at the number of teams you were able to bring in, how are you able to do it? Well, first of all, uh, continued uh, wisdom from the Lord in terms of the planning and the way we go about doing things, uh, making good relationships in the United States, uh, and being able to commute, communicate and be very efficient in your communication and staying on top of the things, plan real early. And the North Andres High School track and field meet is set to take place this February. Coach John Ingram, you might remember him, he's a Carifta coach as well. He says he's expecting lots of teams from outside of Andres to come to the big yard to participate. I have a lot of calls from different different um, schools and Grandma also in Nassau. And um, I'm, we're looking forward to attending my meet this year and I think it's gonna be huge. They're now seeing the level of competition from our kids in Andres. And I think the, the competition level is very high there, so they want to compete there as well. And that'll do it for your Sunday sports, but stay with us. A check on your weather forecast is still to come. <laughs>